as soon as the lockdown started. This group of friends joined efforts to provide bags of food to senior citizens who cannot leave their homes because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The program is called The Good Neighbor. We need to start thinking about others and just not take care of us, but take care of the people that surround us, take care of the people that are in more need than us. The Good Neighbors created a database of people living alone who might need help. A local restaurant is serving as a collection center for donations from restaurants and supermarkets. Volunteers are careful to take sanitary precautions and twice a week they deliver around 500 meals and they offer more than food. We don't just deliver the food, we call them, we ask them how are you, how was your night, how are you feeling, do you need something, call me every time you need something. It has become difficult to buy gas in Caracas, so sports writer Humberto Turinese uses his bicycle to deliver meals. He cannot bring food to his parents who live in another state, but he sees this as his chance to help make a difference. This kind of initiative stirs up a lot of awareness and solidarity, a mutual understanding there are things that have to change, not only in sanitary matters, but also in the behavior of humankind. Pensioner Alfredo Izarra is one of more than 50 elderly people who got a visit and a bag of food this afternoon. It means he can stay inside and maintain the quarantine. This bag means a lot because I live alone. I'm alone all the time. I don't have anybody to help me. Sometimes I go to the bakery to buy some bread and sardines, but with this bag I can eat for two or three days. The non-governmental organization Convite estimates nearly one million older adults in Venezuela have been left alone as their children are among the six million Venezuelans who have left the country in the last six years. The Good Neighbors plan will continue supporting the elderly in Venezuela even after the quarantine is lifted, providing food and comfort during difficult times to as many senior citizens as possible. Marita Nimena, CGTN, Caracas.